Surgery in the mid-19th century was marked by crude and hurried amputations conducted in filthy operating rooms, often followed by horrendous infections. Any operation on the body was awfully fast and rough. The surgeons would, would often crush tissue. When you were cutting somebody's leg off, the patient was wide awake in great pain and screaming. And you had assistance not to assist you, but to hold the patient down. One man changed all of that, William Stewart Halstead. But throughout his remarkable career, Halstead kept a dark secret. Halstead obtained some cocaine and started a series of brilliant experiments on himself, on colleagues, and on medical students. The best evidence suggests he never was cured of his addiction. Innovator, teacher, the most important surgeon America has ever produced, William Stewart Halstead. Today, most patients who undergo surgery take for granted that their operation will be safe. They trust their surgeon will be careful. But not so long ago, surgery was very dangerous and about half the time fatal. Surgeons worked quickly. They were rough and poorly trained and didn't take time to realign the tissue. They didn't bother to wash their hands or their instruments. They didn't wear gloves. One man changed all that. If you were to ask 10 sports writers, who is the greatest baseball player that America has ever had? You would get a short list, Ty Cobb, Babe Ruth, Joe DiMaggio, Willie Mays, perhaps two or three others, but they wouldn't agree upon one baseball player. But if you were to ask 10 medical historians, who is the most important, the most innovative, the most important surgeon that this country has produced, it would be unanimous. It would be William Stewart Halstead. They would be in total agreement. Now that alone, I think, makes his story a fascinating one, but he labored for most of his adult life under a disability that I think makes his story even more interesting, more fascinating, and in many ways more current.